Hey, welcome back everybody. Here we have is our white eel, aka tohe. We're gonna chop off the head, we're gonna chop off the tail, we're gonna get some fillets, soak it in some teriyaki sauce and throw it on a grill. Stay tuned. for this episode of <laughs> And that ladies and gentlemen is excellent Ulua baby Alright now we got the head and tail off let's start to fillet Hey guys how's it going welcome back to this episode of Fish and Grills We'll be cooking up the conger eel, or in Hawaii it's known as the white eel, or the tohe. This is a nocturnal animal which resides in dark caves throughout the day and comes out at night to feed on crustaceans, octopus, squid, and other types of fish it can fit in its mouth. The white eel has been known to live up to 15 years and to grow about 7 feet in length. The Hawaii state record came in at 28 pounds caught in Big Island back in 2013. The eel is typically used as bait for alua fishermen but can also make a good meal. Although there is a lot of bones in the meat, you can work around it and get to the good stuff. The meat is nice, firm, and mild in taste, and best prepared fried, or in this case, grilled topped with simple teriyaki sauce. All right, well, here we have is our beautiful white eel fillets, nice white meat. We're gonna take it out of the house, gonna throw it in a bag with some teriyaki sauce, Yoshida. We're gonna bring it over to our friend's house, throw it on a grill, smoke it for about an hour. Stay tuned. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Here we have our eel fillets. We're just gonna throw it in a bag, like so. Okay, today we're gonna use Yoshida Gourmet Teriyaki Sauce. This goes great with chicken and pork, but today we're gonna use it on white eel. You know why? Because we fish in grills. <laughs> so we just put about a half cup inside. And then here I got some spicy, super spicy, pickled onions for the rest inside and then shake 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 let that all soak in some taco wants to join the party because why because we fish in grills because <laughs> we fish in grills <laughs> <laughs> Fishing grills in the house! <laughs> hey buddy, our grill is hot and ready to get an eel on the grill. Get that eel on the grill. So we're gonna go skin side down first. We got a nice and soaked. Mm. Ooh, you can already smell that Yoshida burning. Alright, we're gonna throw the cover on there, let it just smoke, get all the flavor inside. We're gonna check it, re-dip, check, re-dip, and serve. <laughs> Perfect. That is the best. Right there, that's the heart right there. Or somebody got to eat it. Who wants to eat the papillo heart? Nobody? Alright, so 
So our eel skin is nice and charred. We're gonna brush it out one more time, smoke it for about 10, 15 more minutes, and ready to serve. It's been about 10 minutes. Let's see what this looks like. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's chop this up. A lot of these small pinballs, you can just easily take it out, but you can see the meat. It's almost like chicken. It tastes almost like chicken. It has the same texture as chicken, but it tastes like fish. That's not bad. Today we had a blast with good times, good grinds, and good people. And always stay tuned for the next episode of Fish and Grill. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh. oh, yeah. I was gonna say do it again and try to hit the camera. <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Nasty. Really? Get me, Rich. It's up. It's up. It's up.